time. Whereas a droid, I mean, you could say the same thing. They are relying mainly on a snowball. It is so much more reliable that you can... Bother fighting a droid over these bottom bounty runes? I don't believe they will. I say that KP will run in like a man and try to steal it. In fact, he does. He just oh. swipes it away from them. And so it'll be a 3 for 1 trade. KP does fall very, very low. In fact, he may give away first blood. But no, it looks like he will get out safely. Yeah, that's going to be a point of concern for TNC. We have seen life stealers get that early start. They can be a menace really early on, especially with the change in favored itemization now. March chasing Bok. He's very close to killing him off. He needs a bit more damage. The wave of terror could kill him off, and yeah, he does. March with the support bench does find the first blood. And Bok's courier up at the top lane. Trying to set up for the kill attempt. There's the magic missile into the arrow as well. Gabby comes in on the DK, and Bok really should have nowhere to go and doesn't. That's rough is Mac up against Armel. I mean, he's level six now. He could just Laguna down the alchemist at this point. He's trying to, he's getting rain. Dragon Slave, it will be enough. He does barely find it, but now Boomy trying to find the train. The shards are there. Armel trying to get out of that T1 Ooh. range. It will not matter though. One nice ward that Tim's dropped earlier. We need a bit more to maintain full control here. Well, Boomy finds KP bot lane, but it looks like Bok is also going to be in trouble up at top. They commit the dragon form. Breathe Fire will be there. Magic Missile as well. Coming up from March, he's just going to chase Bok by himself and will find the kill. In fact, Gabby's the one who grabs it. Now Mac actually ends up finding Tim's on the Mirana. And Armel being chased down as he did find the trade. To really start farming up, he has been dipping in and out of that jungle, but even that's not that safe. There's a very, very active roaming Ron in the form of Tims, and he's CML should know Tims is there and does, but RML is right behind him, and with that, CML is gonna go down. Though they are clearing out that T1 tower, Mac gonna come in, but he cops the magic missile. But now the rotations are there. Natsumi gonna go in as well. They'll get a shards off onto March, and March should be dead. But a nice arrow will connect onto Mac. It will not matter though. March does go down to the Alchemist. They will manage to protect that T1 tower. That was a massive commitment for that though. They do manage to save Mac this time around. I think okay, that's P. even bigger. Well, more bad news for the Abaddon, John. He goes down once again. Timer. He's gonna have to farm a lot to really gain that back into the mid game. March, trying to go into Natsumi, but they heal him up. They purge off all the stuns, and he's gonna be chased down. They will find the Venge. Now the gaze out onto teams, but he'll leap away. Armel won't connect with the stun. Still Boomy actually running back in. He still has the snowball available. They just want that bounty rune, and they just want the outpost. Armel trying to fight them over it. He will find CML on the Lich. Now going after Boomy, but what a shards coming oh. out from Boomy. He found two of them. Armel trapped up, goes down. KP oh does God. the same. And Tim's, he only had one leap charge. In fact, there's another. Looks like he will be able to outrun them. In fact, they might even find Tim's. What? Yeah, they do. Chain Frost is there from CML. He just solos Tim's off. As well. But TNC, most people would put on a different level and. Right now, they're just not finding that space that they want. Natsumi, gonna try and go after KP. He's, they're going into three heroes right now, John. They just walk in and take him out. Now March is going down. Gabby comes in. Moonlight Shadow's there. They're gonna not do anything about it. I mean, the rotations came in from TNC, but it amounts to nothing. Bot lane. Another engagement. Armel getting caught out this time around. Gabby. Gotta be careful as Natsumi is chasing. They'll get the stun off. Gabby will find at least a kill onto Boomy. Meanwhile, up at top lane, there is a duel going on onto Tim's, but there's no follow-up damage on this Mirana. Still, she doesn't have any leap charges available. They'll take the banner in away from her, and it looks like she will just die to Natsumi on the Lifestealer. In mid lane, they're trying to punish Mac, but Mac is punishing them back. KP now being chased down by this Alchemist. He won't actually use a stun quite yet, and KP just trying to get the hell out of there. But Max not done. Unstable concoction. KP, is he gonna throw it? No, not quite. But they'll just purge off the stun anyway. And they'll go straight after that mid tier one tower. Yeah, and this is gonna be a key tower for a droid to take. Once that's cleared out, the jungle is not gonna be very safe. And they won't chase him down. 
Tim's two leap charges available. There's the snowball. Tim's, he just commits the Moonlight Shadow, but it is not going to be enough. Timmy should break the smoke and should spot out Gabby, although they blink. Boomy, are you really going to try and TP right now? They'll connect the arrow, Natsumi. He'll pop out straight away and aim for Marge, though Gabby will take down Boomy on the task because of one for one trade so far. Tim's copying a fair bit, but Natsumi does not want any more of this. It looks like they'll back off, but here comes the Cavalry Mac. Who's he going to chase? Armel would be a very nice target on the Lena. And it looks like that is exactly where they're all going. Still Armel just kind of kiting them around. They'll get the jewel off in the end and Armel does end up going down. Meanwhile, Natsumi chasing down KP on the life stealer. He does get arrowed up though from Tips from a mile away. Cavi just tips him straight away. Now they'll chase for more. They think they can punish here, but Tims is falling low on the Marana. They'll leave him be and go for Gabby instead. An unstable concoction will be popped out. Gaze as well. They want KP, but there's the borrowed time coming out. Now the stun from Gabby onto the list, but the swap is their CML. He will end up dropping. Now Gabby going for even more onto Boomy, but he doesn't have the damage output. Dragon form has worn off, and it looks like TNC need to get the hell out immediately, though Tim's, he's melting to that radiance, but it's not quick enough. Meanwhile, Gabby finds Boomy on the task. And so TNT do win that team fight. It was a two for three trade with a dieback on the task. In fact, they're not even done. Gabby, he just steals the outpost straight after they take it. Or he's trying to anyway. Before that 20 minute mark, and they do grab it. And see, Moonlight Shadow popped, and there's Gabby. He jumps straight in after CML. They'll purge off the stun, and now try to turn around onto the DK. In fact, the jewel is there in time, but do they have the damage output? It is going to be there in the end. They won't get the victory, but it doesn't matter. They found the hero, and they'll go after KP now on the Abaddon. And poor KP had a tough game. He's going to be slowed down by that Frost Shield, and Natsumi will use the Open Wounds. Borrowed time, at the very least he is wasting time from the side of a droid, but it isn't going to matter because he is going to oh. die. Arch. They know how low the Roshan is, but look at Mac. He runs straight out of the pit looking for a target. He knows March is there and gets the stun off. Takes a career down as well. The Roshan is still so darn low, but they won the Venge kill first and they will be able to grab it now. Tim's again scouting out the Roshan. But I don't think they can go for this any longer. The Aegis will be given to the way of a droid. And it looks like Natsumi will be the one to pick it up. Ahmel. Gaze is there from CML. But he can't get there to get the uh, bounty rune. Instead though, Mac will come in. Ahmel will miss the stun on the Elk. With the Chain Frost, it will slow him down. And Ahmel is gone. Meanwhile, bot lane KP is being chased down by Boomy and Natsumi. Tim's is there to try and help out, but I don't think there's any saving KP in this situation. He tries to body block them up, but there's the Warrus Punch coming in. Still another Aerophotic Shield. But KP gets slowed down and gets taken out. Meanwhile, mid as well, there's more action going on as CML's being chased down, but Gabby apparently cannot get a hit uphill. With that, he finally gets up there, does find the damage. And so they'll find a Lich for their problem. In fact, they get an arrow off onto uh, the Legion Commander as well. So Bok going to end up losing his life. Boomy going to break the smoke, jump straight in onto KP. They're at that outpost though. Natsumi, he doesn't go for. He's just chasing down March, but they've already found one in the task. An immediate buyback coming out from Boomy. No one else from a, dro a droid has really died yet. In fact, March is somehow still alive on the bench. And Mac, he's actually falling very, very oh. low right now. He's gone. Oh, man. It's so out of nowhere. They just melt him and now... Oh, uh. oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Both outposts in their favor once again. Gabby, there will be a swap, and they do find the task now. Just burst down Boomy, get rid of that annoying snowball, but he does get the snowball off. March will cop it, and Boomy is just making a complete run for it. They will swap him back and do take him out. Now, have they found anybody else? They got the Alchemist and the stun. Arrow to follow as well, but they'll just purge all that off. Another stun from the Venge now, but he's still so darn tanky. Legion does the... Excuse me, Natsumi jumps in, but really does nothing in there. They will lose another in the form of the Legion Commander, and now CML goes down. And suddenly TNC look to be on top of this game. It's going to be a big boom here for TNC, if it does go that way. Butterfly now up on Mac. He 
Does still have buyback gold for himself. We'll take down the T3 tell. Gabby just gonna go straight after the Raxes now and can't hit him from a mile away. Here comes Natsumi, but look at Gabby, he's copying literally no damage. Just out healing it all. Oh. Now they get the swap up onto Mac. The stun is there as well. He needs some help. The infest from the life sealer will be there onto Mac. Still, though, it looks like they may lose Boomy on the task, and they will. CML as well falling quite low and does go down. They'll try to chase March, but he gets out of there safely. Now, Mac, he's down to less than half HP, and he is going to go down. The Biomax do come out, but Gabby just takes no damage. You'd expect from Bach. He had a great start, but he only has 18 dual damage. Like, that's not what you want to be seeing from a Legion commander at 38 minutes in. Now they'll get started on that bot Rax. Again, Natsumi tries to go into Gabby. Gabby just stands there and takes it like a man. Arrow will connect on Natsumi in the back lines. It's a 5 second arrow, but there will be no follow up to it. Still, though, they just found the Rax and they'll back off. No need to overextend if you are TNC. Gabby though, will come back in. He's still got time on the Dragon form. Moonlight Shadow will be popping Natsumi. He's going to walk in again. Oh, and Gabby just stands there once again. Doesn't care. Just no damage. The damage isn't there. Coming out Gabby. Oh man. Has free parving now, John. He doesn't care about cliffs anymore. And uh, that tower is melting thanks to him and our melt. And oh, it's... God. What do you do about this? How do you kill the Black Dragon? Natsumi, he's gonna walk in. Gabby is ignoring him completely. No respect being given to the Lifestealer. And now they found Boomy on the task. He will snowball. They try again. They break the dragon, but nothing happens. <laughs> oh, man. Snowball, oh, man. Gabby. He's just gonna keep right clicking away. Again, just a. Ignoring the heroes, John, he takes down There's the no rats. Damage. There's no damage at all. He's just surviving everything they throw at him. Now he'll take down the life sealer. And well, if you can't kill the heroes, you can't win the game. Mac gets stunned up. Double oh, the LSA man. as well, and it's just over. Oh. Yeah, I would call GG as well. Look, it, it was a good start for Detroit. They had a really excellent start. It looked like they shut down TNC from lane fees. I mean, KP was stuck at level 4 at like 10 minutes in. That was just rough.